Today I'll be talking about uh, advanced meshing features in AEDT ice pack. Uh, so let me start uh, with this fairly simple model. Uh, we have a uh, IC package and on top of it uh, we have a heat sink placed and then there is convective uh, cooling. Um, by that I mean uh, you know we're blowing air uh, through, through this heat sink and over the IC package uh, where uh, we're uh, connecting away the heat that is actually also being conducted away from the heat source that is the IC package. So uh, it's a fairly simple model but obviously we want to you know put enough uh, mesh elements in between the fins, re resolve the heat sink properly. This being a simple geometry uh, one could very easily just use the one-click meshing approach, uh, which is, uh, you know, under ice pack, under simulation, if you click on global mesh settings, th uh, this window will come up with the general tab. And here, uh, if you were to use, uh, let's say, a middle resolution, I'll call this level three, you know, going from coarse mesh level 1 to a fine mesh level 5. I would suggest starting uh, with, with, with the mid level and then uh, facet level you can leave it as default which is 5 for this particular problem uh, and this will actually you know simply go ahead if you click on generate mesh and it will generate a pretty quality mesh as uh, you'll be also seeing in my blog and you know it's working on it here uh, you can see the progress it's already done it's generated about uh, uh, 99,000 uh, cells hex and you know you can kind of see the resolution here so it's done a fairly decent job and, and this will give us a very quick high quality first answer. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, just using the automated one click method and you can see how easy it is. Uh, of course, this is simple geometry for more complicated geometries. Uh, you may wanna uh, move on to advanced meshing techniques. And uh, where are these techniques? Uh, so let, let me, you know, quickly talk about that. So under advanced, uh, once you turn on user specified, uh, and this is right now for global mesh settings, uh, you, you have better control of the gaps, maximum element size, you can turn on multi-level meshing, you can define minimum elements in gaps, uh, etc. And that, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here, but um, you, you know, if requested, we can provide trainings or uh, I'd suggest going to ANSYS website. If you have ALH account, uh, there are tutorials there you can work on. But but essentially meshing is as easy as you know figuring out uh, what these uh, settings do, do for your particular model. And if it's an easy enough model, it's just one click meshing. You know, you just go turn this off and then it's one click meshing. One thing I would like to share today is uh, Let's do some uh, mesh region approach. So what I want to do is I want to specify mesh parameters in a particular region rather than the global mesh. So I'll be doing local meshing. For that, what I'm going to do is I essentially want to make this heat sink region. So I marked it under the model tree at, at a finer level. So I mark these, I go do a right mouse click and then I'm going to assign a mesh region. And let's a little talk about padding. So padding, you can add a certain percentage of offset for our box that is going to wrap around this heat sink in, in X, Y, and Z directions. So this can be, you know, typically if you don't have a good idea, I just suggest going pad all directions similarly with a, you know, maybe 10%. But at 
sometimes you know you may want to limit the padding maybe in the z direction or or another direction or maybe have higher uh, padding then you know you can play around with these individual options but my suggestion you know just start with 10 percent so when i hit okay it's going to bring up uh, the mesh controls for, for this mesh region and now uh, if you leave it as it is again it's going to be like global meshing but i want to use the advanced options so i'm gonna go advanced click user specified and here already you know looking at the geometry it did come up with some uh, maximum element sizes and by default multi-level meshing is available uh, enabled i'm not gonna do multi-level meshing because this is this is a heat sink and it doesn't you know essentially you don't need multi-level meshing multi-level meshing it's very effective with uh, CAD geometry with curved surfaces, surfaces uh, you know mm, the, the strange shaped objects but the heat sink is you know very simple rectangular so we really don't even need this then what I want to do is you know put a fairly you know fine mesh in the y direction because it's the flow direction we don't need maybe such uh, you know detail but in the x and z direction you know let's try and get more detail and th that's pretty much it you know we, we can just hit okay and now what you see is as, as you know this new mesh region and as you can see it's wrapped it's essentially around our uh, heat sink which is red but you can also see this 10 percent uh, padding uh, as called in ice pack in, in each direction so and again you know i showed you how how to control control these dimensions so now you know this is how you could easily uh, use the advanced mesh options i'm just going to click generate mesh to show you how fast the meshing is as you can see it started meshing already previously we had about uh, 99,000 cells now you know what we do is we, we, we're up to about 50 percent more maybe 60 percent more cells but what we gained is much better granularity you know uh, in, in the direction now we have two cells across the thickness five cells in between fins and by changing those uh, you know values we can even get to a hot, you know be better resolution than this and you know essentially uh, next steps are uh, we're going to talk about uh, mesh dependence because uh, your solution may be dependent on your mesh mesh size mesh count or you know uh, lo localized uh, me mesh sizes or global sizes so you want to do a mesh dependence study and uh, I have linked a blog uh, to this video uh, which shows how to do it and you know gives you a good feel uh, of you know how easy it is uh, to do a one-click meshing or advanced meshing in ADT ice pack and confirm that uh, you have a mesh independent solution. Thank you so much uh, for your interest. Have a good day.